let's see. I was, um, I, you know, as you know, uh, the last couple of days, um, Marvel did a really, they parodied themselves and created two joke characters that nobody likes. As you know, Snowflake and uh, Safe Space. All right. And I po posted already about it, a couple more things. But here's my take on it, because I found it very strange that they would create these weirdo, weirdo characters that nobody wanted, nobody wants, and nobody likes. So what I did was I did a like a like like a um. I I took some time. It took me about forty five minutes to create a character, a joke character, a really racist joke character that Marvel could do, right? And uh, and in the end, because I'm not going to blame and go right about anybody else in this way. Because I'm an Indian, so I will do a joke character about my my own ethnicity, and here's what I did. So, so I put on it at Marvel. Since Marvel seems to need new characters, here's my take: the Curry Muncher, Indian male, well wears a Gandhi cap. Now the Gandhi cap is a white little, uh, little you know, like it folds up into this little, kind of like that shape. Yeah, it's almost like a upside down W without the bit in the middle. Okay. And he wears a dhoti. A dhoti is like a, uh, a wrap around robe. Okay. Chappal, which is sandals, right? It's a leather sandals. Uh, so your feet, uh, toes are exposed. And he uses a chappal, to, um, the sandal, to ward off attacks as its soul is made as a strong as an adamantian. So he could basically take his shoes off and wave it around like sandals of wave around and you know hit off like like uh let's say uh, cyclops uh laser beams right and so on or captain marvel's um you know whatever she does with her hands i mean our characters do that with their hands as well one of them um uh, but also you know the zapping thing whatever Hurricane, that sort of thing right uh so super strong from years of plowing the rice and tea fields, right? His cap is to cover his um, his super smart brain, right? Because I want to get that. I want to show that, hey, Indians are smart, all right? Because this is where they're going at. They're going for the whole sciencey smarty thing, which is also his weak spot, all right? So he's, right? So he's got to make sure he's got, he's got, a, he's got a little uh, kryptonite. His brain, his, even though he's very super smart, his brain is kryptonite as well. So you can, you know, you gotta, if you hit him in the head or something, I guess, it'll get weak. He is naturally skinny, so his strength is not obvious, right? Uh, so he's strong, but he's skinny as well. So you, you can't tell he's that strong. So he could probably take on Hulk and so on, if you, if you really want it. He's also very light skinned because you see, that's the current theme of black characters and ethnic characters in uh, in mainstream media now, is that you can't be a dark-skinned, really, really dark-skinned character on TV and uh, unless you're a really, really huge name, right? Uh, or, and hey, I could be, you know, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. I could be wrong with that, but I, I do see a lot of light-skinned uh, characters on TV uh, and you see that in Doctor Who right uh when they uh, sorry not dr picard right uh one of the right and here's the reason i say that is because the weird thing is that they introduced a black female character in picard who's a junkie so their way to show put a black character in a show of picard star trek picard was to put a black character female druggy so yeah they didn't even see the racism in that when they did that um you know because all about like hey a powerful woman and stuff and all that which i have no problem with as you know because i'm creating a powerful woman as a character all right i've got a couple actually <laughs> it's about three uh was it four of them i think was introduced straight away in the first issue uh yeah so right back so he's not right his energy comes from eating spicy food, right? Which also gives him, which also 
gives a means, uh, which also means his teammates in the new New Avengers, because I want him to join the new New Avengers, right? Give that, give that, uh, uh, give that team a ethnic, you know, the ethnic uh, touch, addition by putting an Indian there. So, uh, right. So, which means, also, which also means his uh, his teammates in New New Avengers don't like being near him when he's fighting because obviously the spicy foods make him comes out of him. his pores makes him smelly all right i'm really going for the hard hard knocks here remember this is a joke character a joke character guys this is me joking just in case you're not thinking about how i how i feel about what where marvel is going in with this whole situation with their new characters all right but that's okay because he's used to it being from the untouchables cast right we're going to make him from the lowest cast right because that's the other thing that they go on it's like they try to um, um they try to go let's go what's let's get our characters characters from the the worst situations in their life so we can make them that i have no problem with that but they seem to be going way too far all right able to move great distances using his daughter remember i was saying how uh hey sorry mike yeah cheers bro um yeah it's all good uh, okay so yeah uh my guest is just saying that um he's not able to make it um all right so back to this joke character though a superhero that i'm creating indian superhero character all right so remember how i was talking about the doti the wraparound um that you know indian um elderly gentlemen mostly wear now um uh, I think I still do. Um, I remember my, um, my granddad used to wear them at um, at festival times, like ritual times. Um, I've never worn them that I can remember of as a kid. Um, okay, so right, so able to gr move great distances using his dotty, which is able to extend two hundred meters, as it's made from a special material, right? So he can basically by whistling, right makes it extend and he's able to run across it like Iceman. So he's able to go, whoosh, you know, I can't whistle, sorry guys. You know, he whistles and the, his clothing comes off and it forms into, depending on how he whistles, whichever direction he wants to go in and how hard he wants it to be. So he can run across on it. Remember, he's very strong and he's, you know, I guess he's fast as well now because, well, he doesn't have to be fast. He can just run across to where he needs to go right because he's not flying he's not able to fly so we got to give him something else we can't make everybody fly all right you got to have some different characters here so um right by whistling right by like Iceman with um you know with ice so ice Iceman can just basically do a little arc and get, get across it on there and even send his friends across it uh like a slide right now, whist here we go. Whistling has its background to his father being a snake charmer, right? I'm really going for the hard knocks here, guys. This is me really bringing out the hard, hard, hard jokes here. Well, parody of this thing, right? Uh, Whistling has its background to his father being a snake charmer, right? Really going for the Indian thing here. Here we show how terrible his father was to the family, and that let's call him Ramesh, right? This character is called Ramesh because, hey, why not? Uh, ran away to join other similar power teams like him. So that's how he joins up the new, new Avengers, right? Now, if C.B. Sobolski, right, the guy who's running uh, um, and making all these, seriously, he's making all these joke characters happen in Marvel, likes, he can find an angry, white-hating white hate, white female writer to pour all the energy into making this the basis of an in, of an Indian mutant team archetype of all that is what can be the brand new capital letters brand new Indian mutant comic book character at the capitals brave and new 2020 Marvel right uh, I know it seems strange that I would just put this all together in 45 minutes I saw how long it took I think it might have taken a little less I did create a character just like that. 45 minutes. It took me. 
to create this joke parody comedy racist character right totally overboard character in less than 45 minutes when it the reason i mentioned this when it probably took the new new warriors characters create a month right to come up with oh now i can't remember uh safe space all right um let me just go to marvel so i get it right all right uh marvel.com because it's on their website guys this is this is how great uh, this is where marvel's heading and trying to kill the industry their, sorry their own company and already we know the mainstream mediums, uh, mainstream um, comic books is on the way out. Ooh, you can realize there's like a space there. I think there's more posters spawn now. All right, so uh, the new new words. Okay, learn more. All right, here we have the classic team reunites to. Where do you go? All right, here we go. The new team reunites to mentor a new generation of heroes. All right. So let me just call up these names of these characters. All right. Screen time. If I remember right, let's see. He got in, he got he got his powers from experimental internet gas. How does that work? Did he did he like sit next to the Wi-Fi and suck it up? All right, the guy who explains this, Kibble Smith, is like, I wanted to have teen characters who felt as now. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean like you just got on Google and just went, new comic book characters, what's the coolest words out there? Screen time, safe space, snowflake. Be negative. That's a great name for a character, dude. I mean, seriously, be negative. You wanna, you wanna create a superhero with a name called Be Negative. Superheroes are what we see as the good things in life, as in fantasy, uh, because we wanna inspire to the. To being like Spider-Man, to with great power comes great responsibility. But now we got some freaking pink head, pinkish head, bat character uh, looking vampire thing called B Negative. So of course they're trying to say it's through the blood, but the name, dude, Negative. Why would you have Negative? And you know, B Negative guys. This is the superhero you want. The new superhero you want now is B negative. I didn't think I was going to have a rant like this on this, but anyway, right. So Trailblazer. Now this is a racist character. This is what really, really got me was I think uh, later on when I was looking at these videos, to be honest, right, this is what really got me later on was you got a fat Indian Native American girl. You make all your other characters look pretty all right. All right. Pretty all right. You got two black characters. Why do these black characters have pink and blue hair? Why does a guy have pink hair? Why don't you give the girl the pink hair and the, and the guy the blue hair? That will look cool. And the other weird thing about this is these are like anime characters. Seriously, when I looked at this, I was like, is this animation? Is this is this is this manga? Is this where uh, Marvel's going? All right. So this is a new worries. All right. So, but then let's get back to Trailblazer. All right. So this is Trailblazer, a regular kid scooped up into the world of teenage superheroing. Her magic backpack, which is supposed to be ancient, seriously, it's supposed to be ancient. Looks like the backpack I just I have. All right. You can buy at the shop. It's got some some weird yellow. Uh, lime yellow and black squiggly lines with a circle with a white hole all right and she's wearing pink and blue stripes so it's kind of like the team member thing you know pink and blue all that uh but she's overweight she's obese is this like can you not see how racist this is 
let me tell you about an actual really, really amazing Native American character. Uh, Forge. Who I really loved growing up when I was reading, uh, in my teens, I was reading uh, X-Men. And he really, him and Storm really got me. I think really, and uh, I guess Wolverine was okay, but I think Storm is in the 90s and late 80s with Claire, uh, uh, um, Chris Claremont and John Byrne, they really, really understood youth. They really understood comics and they were able to grab a whole generation of youth, and I guess the generation before as well because they were reading hard out, to read X-Men comics. Because these, these are part of the X-Men universe, right? These are the new warriors, which are the mutants, right? So, yeah. So, it goes, her magic backpack is actually a pocket dimension with, seem with seemingly infinite space, which from which she's, she can pull out useful or random objects. It's not always under her control. She claims to get her power from God, but not the God you're thinking of. Okay, so... We're, we're talking because she's Native American, so there'll be some, um, the trickster god, maybe, you know, um, I can't remember all the others. I actually studied um, Native American folklore a while back. So, so this is, um, hey guys, if you're just joining me, this is just talking about the, the new, new warriors that this junky, weird uh, Kibblesmith character has created for, as a parody of it himself. I guess of of the of the Marvel universe right now, uh, and so we're talking about Trailblazer, this uh, obese Native American, and how it's total opposite of um, Forge, who is, and in, and there's there is I think there's Sunspot, or Sunstone. There's a whole bunch of other characters who are a part of the MCU who are amazing Native Native American characters, all right. Uh, or indigenous, whichever word you want to use, but I'm using native, right? I guess indigenous is a pretty cool word. I like that as well. But so, yeah, so she's she's a group home and foster kid who is volunteering at a senior center when the mysterious threat shows up and Night Thrasher, who's an old character from um, 1990s. I actually used to collect Night Thrasher books. I love that book. He's got, um, I think he's got like a, a cane, uh, a billy stick, as they say in, uh, in the UK that he uses. Um, Thrasher, I guess. And I used to collect the comic books back in the late 80s and early 90s. So I actually like that character. Um, but obviously, they're trying to use that to bring these characters, him to bring these characters, or bring, especially bring this character. In. Runs to the rescue, the scribes adds. And because, um, this is Kibblesmith. And because she helps him, she ends up in the crosshairs of this new outlaw law. Outlawed law. Uh, anyway. Uh, Trailblazer wants to help people, but she doesn't think of herself as a superhero yet. Kibble Smith concludes, the Marvel Universe is a reflection of her own. No, it's not. It's fantasy. Right? The MCU is trying to be a reflection of her own. But the Marvel Universe is a fantasy universe of multiverses, of sci-fi characters, fantasy characters, supernatural characters, weird characters, mutants, uh, scientifically created characters. Uh, genetically uh, enhanced characters, uh, technologically enhanced characters. Why? Are you? This is the way they see things right now at Marvel. And I don't know if I was sitting there at Marvel, I would be going, "Dude, this is not what we need. What we need right now is to bring Forge, giving him, a, give him an ongoing series, make him a team leader, X of." Um, X-Men X, right? Something like that. Or uh, uh, what they did, which, you know, which they've done it again, which was blue and gold. Give them, or red, whatever. I think give them like, uh, I don't know, royal. Right? Or some native um, color, uh, or black. You know, uh, X-Men black. Do the X-Men black label or something like that. Even I can think of freaking better things right now off the top of my head than this junk, right? Um, so, yeah. So, the, yeah. So, I guess the Marvel, 
getting back to it, the Marvel Universe is a reflection of our own. And when a new layer, new law puts, uh, gets put into place, it affects people in unforeseen ways. Right. You can go to Marvel.com and read it. It's their big new thing. It's If I can come up with characters on the top of my head that could be better to put a book around. Why can't people who have experience in it? The weird thing is this guy has, has got no history in comic books that I know of, right? He's an Emmy nominated writer, right? Uh, the Late Show, Colbert. He's a comedy writer. So he's creates freaking comedy. <laughs> oh, dude. You can see why. You can see why. This is a big fail on multi-universal levels. Right. Um, anyway, maybe maybe he, he needs to um, break glass in case of emergency because this is what he's he needs to use this to wipe that off the face of the comic book industry right now because i'll tell you what this has damaged the industry in ways especially marvel in ways they don't know yet they really have no clue marvel's already hurting we're in coronavirus situations uh as, as you know i said yesterday 40 They've already lost $20 billion in, in Hollywood, which means that's part of Marvel, right? Because Marvel's got their studios all over the place. The billion-dollar movies ain't going to be billion-dollar movies no more because people aren't going to go out and see them for probably what, for three to six months, maybe, depending, because our own government's saying that we could be months, right? Could be months. Could be the long haul. So, yeah, this is what happens when you get people who have no history in comic books trying to tell people this is what you need actually this is exactly what we don't need as comic book readers creators artists industry people whatever you, imagine a character named snowflake safe space trailblazer be negative that's right like i said before a character named be negative and screen time and you give them give this guy a book to write and you know what trash fire and I'm gonna end it with there because I don't want to get more negative on this but like I said well done Marvel rather than hiring actual creators I don't mean me there's actually amazing creators out there who have lost their jobs due to the politics in, in Marvel and DC who would love to get books to write and create new characters, right? And make history with them, like Rob Liefeld with, Dave, uh, with, um, with Deadpool, right? That was a kind of like a jokey character, but it was cool. You look at Gwen, uh, Gwenpool, I love that character. It's just funny. It's like a real, you know, fourth wall, fifth wall breaking type character. I love that. I actually talk about Gwen Paul. All right, just before we finish this thing on um, New Moon, I have this. This is how much I love Gwen Paul. All right, I love, uh, I've got a whole bunch of Deadpool stuff, but this is my, um, you know, my Gwen Paul. Um, figurine cost me a bit save for ages to get it had to pay it off because hey limited budget right uh, but the other thing i went like what was it, like um uh, 2000 last year or the year before i think i went to armageddon to actually find something of grand pool and i came back for myself I, the only thing i bought was a cat with grand pool on it because it's even though it's a jokey character it's well done and it's an attractive character right the costume's great. The figure's great. What 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 she does is great. How she talks is great. Everything about her is great. Dear Marvel, destroy this new New Warriors characters off the face of the universe, comic universe, right now.